of the day is red. Hey, Eva. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, the color of the day is red. Ava and Papa are in red. Except for Jojo. Ay, 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 Jojo. Okay, today is a very uh, important day. In, in, the, in the liturgy of the church today, it's the feast of? St. James. St. James. St. James the Apostle. Who is St. James the Apostle? Let's see. Do we know? Do we know who Saint James the Apostle is? The son of Zebedee. <laughs> son of Zebedee. Okay, brother of John. Brother of John. And the guy who asked. And the guy who asked what? <laughs> who asked what? And they're also called the sons of thunder. Okay. Why are they called the sons of thunder? John's James and John. James and John. Huh? Because they are. They're the ones who. Uh, they're the ones who appeared to be very. Machismo, right? They were the ones who asked Jesus, send down fire and to burn all of these people, burn this town, and uh, they didn't want to listen to, to Jesus. Anyway, he he's known uh, to um, you know to have that kind of character. Um, and, and so it's the feast of Saint James the Greater, the Greater, uh, because there's also a Saint James the Less. Then St. James the Great and St. James the Less. Why is there great and less? Because they're not there. What was that all about? Huh? Just to distinguish the two. To distinguish the two. But why is it great or less? Anyway, it's the it's the ter it's the name that they that that they have been given, but the real reason for that is because this particular Saint James, the brother of Saint John, just came before the other one. He was he was Chosen to be an apostle earlier than the other James. That is why it's the greater and the less. Maybe they should have called him James the first, James the second. But anyway, that's the only reason. And uh, and so he was a brother of St. John. And is uh, probably, probably uh, a cousin of Jesus. Okay, so this is not very conclusive. But uh, tradition says that, that James and John... Uh, are most probably cousins of Jesus, and they were among the first disciples also of um, of uh, John the Baptist. Okay? Oh. Now, uh, Saint James was martyred. In fact, he was the very first among all the apostles to be martyred. He was the first one. Okay, um, but before he was martyred by uh, King Herod Agrippa. He, he was apparently stabbed by Heron Agrippa himself. So that was how how bad uh, uh, Herod Agrippa was. But anyway, uh, before he was killed, he uh, was the apostle to Spain. So he preached in, in Cappadocia and in other places, but uh, he is well known uh, in Spain to having been the apostle to Spain. And he converted the Moors. See? the Muslims in Spain to Christianity and later on uh, Spain became a very very Christian nation a very Catholic nation hey, Eva. <laughs> okay now what is the story today today the story is uh, well the gospel is on St. Matthew chapter 20 verses 20 to 28 and this is the story where the mother of James and John came up to Jesus and said I want you to command See? This mother must be a very strong personality. Maybe this where James and John took their uh, thunderous character. Right? She told Jesus, I want you to command that my two sons sit by you in your kingdom. One on your left, one on your right. Okay? Then Jesus said, well, you know, woman, <laughs> that's not for me to give. right? That's for my father to assign. Okay? He says, uh, whether to sit on my right or left, that's not for, for me to decide. That's my father who will, who will uh, decide on that. But, but, Jesus said, but, you know, maybe we can work it out on one condition. He says, are you willing, addressing himself to James and John now, are you willing to drink of the cup of which I am to drink? What is that cup? What do you mean by drinking of the cup of which I am to drink? See? 
our Lord was actually challenging them and inviting them and asking them, you really want to be in heaven? You really want to be close to me and seated right by me in my throne in heaven? Well, are you ready to offer your lives as a sacrifice? Because that is the cup, the chalice of sacrifice that I am about to drink. See? Are you willing to drink of it yourselves? Okay? So, and then of course, the brother said, oh, Of course, we can. Right? We can. We can. Then Jesus said, Okay, if you say you can, eh, then I will make you drink of that cup. I will make you share in that cup, in that suffering. Okay? And I want to remind you, this is not about uh, this is not about crowns or sitting on thrones and it's all going to be a life of sacrifice. If you follow me and you want to be my disciple, it's going to be a life of sacrifice. Because, he says, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. So, Jesus is like telling us today in this gospel, you want to go to heaven? You, brothers, James and John, and all of you, for my disciples and all of us now who are following our Lord, you want to be in heaven? You have to serve. The, the trademark of a disciple of Jesus Christ, of a saint who wants to go to heaven, is service. Okay, So, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. And it's very consistent with the first, one of the first questions in the catechism. Why did God create you? Answer. To know, love, and serve Him. To know, love, and serve Him. See? So you see how our faith is very consistent all across the board, right? Very consistent with the gospel message today and the catechism uh, uh, um, uh, eloquently uh, tells us that, right? We, we were created to serve. We were chosen to serve. We're following Jesus to serve. We want to become saints. And the way to do that is to serve. To serve. Be of service to others. Be humble and be of service to others. We cannot be cocky like James and John in the beginning. Oh, we want to be. We're going to be sitting on that throne. Oh, yeah, we can drink that cup. Bet you we can, right? Not a matter of being cocky, leading a good life and a, a, a life that is ordained towards sanctity is a life of humility. It is a life of service. It is a life of laying down your life like a red carpet for others to walk on. It is to offer your lives to serve other people. Not to serve what we want, not to serve our pleasures, not to cater to our own whims. That is not the way of Jesus Christ. The way of Jesus Christ was to lay down his life for others to the point of dying for us, to save us. Now, how can we be like that? How can we be like Jesus? Maybe not so much to the point of dying like St. James did. He offered his whole life. Agrippa stabbed him out of you know, uh, you know because, because he wanted to silence him. Maybe we don't have to go to that extent if Jesus is not calling us to be martyrs, but he's calling us to be martyrs and, and, and people of service every day in the ordinary things that we do every day. Just like you see that your sister needs bread. You hand over the bread on the table, even before she asks for it. You see that your brother or sister needs help in the kitchen. Well, do you run there to help? Or do you wait until you're asked, prepare the table, please. It's time to eat. Prepare the table. Time to eat. Like somebody I know. Right? Or maybe we do our chores voluntarily without being asked. Right? You, say that you see that there's something on the floor. The floor is littered with I don't know what. Do you voluntarily go there to pick it up, clean it up, wipe it up, tidy it up? You see that the, 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 the table where you, where you do your schoolwork is 
messy. Do you volunteer to fix it? Or do you leave it alone and don't care? That's why you see when we do the examination of conscience, we ask those questions, right? How did I serve today? Serve. How did I serve today? How did I care today? Those things are complementary virtues that we have to live every day because that is the mark of discipleship. That is what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. To serve, to serve, to serve. Because just like Jesus, who did not come to be served, but to serve, we cannot be greater than our master. Right? No disciple is greater than his master. So we follow the example of our master, Jesus Christ, to serve others around us and to be generous with that service. Okay, so let us go. We will celebrate Mass. We will attend Mass. And celebrate the feast of St. James and ask St. James to teach us, to teach us how to drink of that cup of service and sacrifice so that we can be faithful disciples of Jesus Christ. Okay, that's it for us, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Till -bye. Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.